Okay, so it is that time of, my, of month again. It is Treasure Map versus Sanji time, so I don't have the new batch of Uta. I don't have any of the new Treasure Map recruits, so this is the video for you if you didn't pull or you got terrible luck. Starting with the mini boss against Nami here. So Treasure Map Sanji, we are running him because he'll give us a attack and all boost on the, f on the first stage. We can use Luffy to wave clear on stage 1. Stage 2, Aokiju will wave clear as well as give us a uh, extended attack and all boost to our Sanji. Uh, from at the start of the quest then on the final stage we'll start the attack and orbs from Sanji at the start of the quest and then we can use our special of Frankie to get rid of the enemy's threshold as well as give us a color frenzy boost and then uh, we'll have a full board of rainbow orbs from the Shiro she's uh, crewmate ability then we can use the support of Rayleigh and Chopper to get rid of the three tons of paralysis then we can also use later on we can use our Sanji super type to uh, get buff the attack and all boost to 2.25x as well as give our Sai unit super type. So this is a very strong team, gets around it super well. And uh, make sure your Shiroshi is and uh, Aokiji is in the middle row since they do get slot bind. Uh, Shiroshi resists it, but Aokiji doesn't, but since he d isn't even Sai, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's it for this team, very strong. Moving on to the Brook mini boss here, it is quick, so we're running a many decks team with a hybrid of Dogstorm and Cat Viper. We'll use the uh, Bandai friend captain of our cat viper so we don't have to rely on luck to find friend captains but on stage one we'll use our uh, cat viper super type to wave clear stage two we can use our dog storm super class to wave clear on the final stage we'll get uh 10 turns of despair to our top row units as well as a one turn of special rewind and the enemy will have six turns of threshold to get rid of the despair we we'll use our sockets to get rid of three turns of it we'll use our season to get rid of five turns of it and then the whitey base support which attaches to slasher characters will get rid of the remaining two turns of the despair then Caesar will also give us a chain limiter which will help us with damage a bit then we can use our um toki to get around the special reverse as well as give us an attack and color affinity boost um toki will only give the attack boost if your captain slot is one out which is why we have the odin support on our dog storm it also works the other way around if you're running Cat Viper as your captain. Still attach the Odin support to your Cat Viper. And then our characters is there for a crewman ability which will give us a full board of tandem orbs. Which is counted as matching with the Whale Shark's ship. Then we have our Shinobu to get rid of the 6 turns of threshold. As well as give us a 1.1x chain boost and a 2x orb boost. This team works very well. You use uh, 3 specials on the final stage so it is a bit longer. But it's very strong. It will last the entire treasure map. And you don't need to activate your dog storm or cat viper specials so moving on to the next mini boss against robin here we are running a driven powerhouse into a uh, treasure map black bear team stage one enter wave clears as well as giving you a bit of cooldown stage two use your uh, caesar special to wave clear on the final stage you can use your studio special to give uh, five turns of attack down reduction as well as giving you auto heal which changes to a 1250 base attack boost with the blackbeard special uh, captain effect then Blackbeard will also get his super class proct with your Shiryu character, which will allow you to get a 2.25x uh, attack boost with the super class. And then uh, his special will get her the bind that is on, inflicted on your right uh, row. And will, he will also give you a chain limiter, which will allow you to get around the chain coefficient reduction and the chain attack down the, on the final stage. Um, you also have the support of Halloween Law on your Blackbeard for a 1.75x or boost. And you have uh, Legend Moria on your Caesar for a 1.5x color affinity. If you don't have Caesar uh, Moria, you can just run your Tal Nami support for a 1.3x color affinity. And you can also activate your Caesar later on if your damage is a bit more niche for a 1.75x uh, conditional attack boost for your poison. Uh, then you also have Shiri Hoshi there for a full board of rainbow orbs with a crewmate ability. So a very fast, fast and strong team. You only need to activate two specials at the start of the treasure map. And for the final mini boss against Chopper, the enemy does have a revive, so it's pretty annoying. Probably the hardest mini boss to get around, if you, especially if you don't have Zoro and Sanji. But I did lock out on the free multi and pull this unit, so they made my life a lot easier. Stage one and two, we use the super types to wave clear. Then on the final stage, we uh, on the initial kill, the enemy is the quick type. So yeah, we're using our Karen Wonder special to give us an orb boost, as well get around the three turns of special rewind. So that's the most annoying debuff on this quest. Three turns of rewind is super annoying to get around, but Karen Wonder is the only unit that gets around three turns of it, so that's awesome to have. We also have the Dog Storm support on Karen Wonder to give us a 1.75. Color, uh, attack boost and then our Zora and Sanji, Sanji special will give us a full board of Psy orbs which is kind of as matching in the captain effect and they also give us a color affinity boost and a 1.75x increased damage taken to the enemy so with all that it is a very easy kill on the initial kill on the initial kill 
And we also have our Sabo there to get, get rid of the paralysis and burn, as well as give us a chain limiter on the initial boss kill. Then on the revive, the boss changes to the in type, where we will use our Zora and Sanji special again for a new color frenzy boost, as well as changing the block orbs that we get into matching. Then we will have 15 turns of bind to our captain, which we get around with our Nami special, which will kill, uh, release one character entirely from bind. And then we'll use our World Clash Ace to give us a one point, uh, a two times attack and all boost, as well as a bit of a chain boost. So I thought that is a very easy kill on both the initial kill and the revive. So that's it for this team. Let's move on to the final boss. So here we're using a Yamato uh, Captain uh, with a friend Captain Uta. Stage one, we'll use our Uta Special to give us a attack and all boost. Uta will also uh, Uta Special also give us a attack and all boost on stage two and three. So she just carries this quest entirely. So in stage 1 we use our Uta and then we also use our Sangoro special to give us a full board of matching orbs and a color affinity boost. Then on stage 2 we get a full board of block orbs which procs the um, support effect of Reiju which will get rid of 2 turns of the uh, chain lock that we are inflicted with. Then uh, Baccarat will get rid of the remaining turns of chain lock allowing us to use our Yamato special which will give us a chain boost and a full board of Wano orbs and a um, 1.75x increased damage taken to your enemy. Uh, then Bakrat special also proc the support of uh, Custard, which will uh, lock our orbs so that we have a full board of Wano orbs in the final stage 2. So I thought that is a very easy kill on stage 2, a full board of Wano orbs, attack, boost, or boost, color affinity, and a bit of a chain boost as well. So moving on to the final stage, we get 5 turns of special bind, Heat and Y gets rid of that. Then we can use our Magellan and Hannibal to give us a conditional attack boost, as well as having the support of Moria to give us a 1.5x color affinity to our driven characters. Optionally, you could also run Talnami instead if you don't have Moria. But that's pretty, pretty much it for this. You can also run your uh, super type of um, Yamato if the damage is a bit niche. We are hitting through the uh, barrier of uh, the four perfects, which is quite annoying, but the damage is still really good, so it doesn't really matter. But moving on to the final boss, here we're running a, a Robin and Jumbe captain with a friend Captain Uta once again. Stage 1 we use our Uta and then our Jumbe Robin swap effect which will give us Caesar and Uta characters a matching orb. With all that it is a very easy kill on stage 1. Then on stage 2 we can use our Miyork to give us a 3x chain lock. And we can also use our Sangoro special to give us a full board of matching orbs as well as a color affinity. And the support of Custard will lock those int orbs so that we have them on the final stage once again. Since we have a full board of int orbs, we can also hit through the int, ba uh, int barrier that the enemy has. Um, so that's pretty easy to get around still with the int orbs. And then we also have the special of Caesar you can use to give us a 1.5x conditional attack boost. And then you can use your Robin and Jumbe special to give you uh, their dual captain, as well as getting around the enemy's threshold of 5 turns, as well as giving you a 1000 base attack boost. So I thought that it is a very easy kill on stage 2. Moving on to the final stage, just use your Miyok special again to give you a 3x chain lock, as well as getting rid of the uh, enemy's 5 turns of, of defense up. Then you can use your Caesar special again for a 1.75x conditional attack boost. And also that it is a very easy kill, you also have your Moria for a color affinity boost as well. So very easy kill on the final stage, full board of uh, matching orbs, a 1.5x color affinity, a 2.5x orb boost, a 3x attack boost, a 1.5x color affinity, and um, you have a 5x captains on both sides. So this is a very strong team. Bakarat is replaceable, she's just there for a uh, bit of a point boost and stats. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions about the team, ask them down below. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, like and subscribe for more content in the future. But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.